Greetings all, Frog here. It's time for the Friday update from the pond for the 18th of March, 2016. It is definitely Friday the 18th as I record this, but that's okay. I've been a busy, busy frog. Of course, we're listening to the music of uh, European Universalis 4 today. Thanks again to Paradox for all of the fantastic work that you do on all of your games and allowing us minor YouTube barely celebrities to use your music in such a fashion as background for our updates. I guess we should start with Paradox, really. Um, Solaris has uh, a launch date, the 9th of May, and I kind of want to like take off work that day just to play Solaris, and I might. That is an actual possibility that I would take off work to play Stellaris that day. The only thing that could hold me back is there's a major project at work, and I think it's going to happen that week, which is so frustrating. But I, I kind of want to just do that to play Stellaris all day, so we will see. But there will definitely be Stellaris on this channel, 100%. I have not looked at the gameplay footage yet. I've been good. I've had a lot of stuff to do, so I've, I've told myself I have to do that before I am ready. And I'm just looking at this right now, and we need to do this. Bam. Um, so I, I'm going to, to play it. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to study everything about it. I've read every update. I've read all the public diaries and everything. I'm very excited May 9th that uh, it's going to happen. So, you know, that's fantastic. Let's talk about this week. So we discovered some interesting things this week. GeoGuessr now has a pro mode. Uh, I have paid for it. Uh, you, you make your own decision. If you don't want to be a pro subscriber to GeoGuessr, that's perfectly fine. But for me, I, I figure how much it is a driving force behind my channel. That $3 a month is, is relatively a low cost. And I, I kind of consider it more like a donation to, to uh, bring them along for everything that we've done. I mean, look, we've done 80 episodes of GeoGuessr this year, 243 of them last year. So it's 323 episodes of GeoGuessr. Assuming that they're no longer than 15 minutes each, which is a lie... But the shortest one is is 15 minutes for the most part. 340, or excuse me, 323 episodes is like 80 hours of content, right? So that's that's a lot, and it's actually closer to 120 or something like that because there are plenty of long episodes in the 35 to, to 60 minute range for those videos. So I think it's worth it. What do you get if you go pro? Well, there's a couple of things. One is that you will be able to make maps on the new GeoGuessr interface instead of having to use GeoSetter. Not that there was anything wrong with GeoSetter. It works very well. And if, if you guys want to continue to make GeoSetter challenges and send them my way, certainly you're welcome to do so. And I'm going to play them and I'm not going to poo-poo them. And I'm, I'm going to stop complaining about the interface because now we have an, an option for it. So it, I get enough of the custom maps out of that that I'm not going to poo-poo the GeoCenter one. So, you know, please do continue to go to GeoCenter.com, put in your five locations, give you a link, send that link to me on Facebook or YouTube and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, definitely continue to do that. But if you go pro on uh, GeoGuessr's site, then you get to make maps in the new interface, which is good. And you can put in more than five locations. So you could create a, essentially a map challenge with 25 locations and it will randomly pick five, which I find to be truly interesting. The second thing that you get with, with uh, Pro is that you can play those maps. So the catch is you can't play user created maps unless you're a pro subscriber. So all you could do are the official maps. Now the official maps aren't going away. So you still have anywhere in the United States, uh, Canada, Australia, the EU, Russia, J Japan, the United Kingdom, you know, all of those maps are still there and you'll be able to play them without a pro subscription. But in order to play the user created ones, you need to go pro. The last thing that they have so far is that you could change your pin. So I already have a frog pin and uh, it's just really cool. One of the things that I like is that the user challenges and all of the challenges now actually, anytime you send a challenge link, uh, it, more than one person can participate. So if I send a link in those videos, um, I, I don't know if there is a limit to the number of people that could play. So what will happen is that as you go through step by step, you'll see the best score that you're competing against. And then uh, and if, you're, if you are the best score, you'll see the second best score and it tells you that. And then at the end, when you see a summary, you can see everybody's game. And in the top right hand corner, there's there's a list of uh, the people that have played it. And you can click on anyone in that list and it will compare it to your score. So it's very cool. I think it's, it's, it's really good. It's been a long time coming. And for me, it's worth $3 a month. I prefer to pay $30 a year, but I'll pay $3 a month. That's, that's fine. 
you know, it'll be good. If they start pushing it to four or five dollars, though, then we're gonna have to start talking because it's that's a little too much. Sixty dollars a year for Geo GeoGuessr maybe is a little high. I don't know. I mean, I suppose at some point my revenue stream from this um, channel will cover that, but it doesn't yet. So that's where GeoGuessr was, and we had a lot of good uh, user challenges. I played for the first time one of the subreddit challenges. Those guys in the subreddit are good. Uh, so, you know, I, I thought I did okay. I was not the worst score, but I was like number eight or nine. It was it was rough. So I'm going to try and play those every week, though. Um, whether or not I record them, I don't know because of how far in advance I'm starting to record things. But depending on, on how that is, uh, I'll, I'll probably at least record the weeklies. There's like weekly challenges and um, daily challenges on the subreddit. So I'm going to play them all, but I may just record the the... The weeklies just because it's it's a little more easy it's a little more easy wow it's a little easier to be relevant and if you're coming here from the subreddit hello welcome pull up a, pull up a lily pad so that's where that's going to go um isaac of after uh, isaac of afterbirth the binding of isaac afterbirth is uh, been a lot of fun to play too i've played a bunch of dailies and some non-dailies i'm starting to, to fill in the post-it note and what i've started to do is because again i'm so far ahead uh, that I'm starting to record daily, or not record dailies, just play the dailies, which is fine. Because I'm playing Isaac every day, I think I'm getting a bit better, and I'm, I'm not recording everything that I do. So, like, I've, I've actually have unlocked a few things on the post-its without putting it on the channel. And if that frustrates you and you really want to see it, let me know, and I'll stop doing that. But I uh, I just wanted to re just, just to play and not worry about recording, so that way I could focus more on improving my gameplay. And I think that the recordings are going to be better as a result. So I'm not going to do the dailies probably on the channel anymore, um, but I will always play them. So you can always check my score. I, I'm looking into changing my Steam name. I know you can do it. I don't think it's that hard. I just never looked it up. And I think I'm going to just change my Steam name to Purple Frog as well. So that way you have everything there. Because frankly, anything that I use that name for, I have two-factor authentication set up for anyway. So it's not like you can, you can try and, I suppose you could try and hack your way around it, but please don't. It's very rude. So I think you can find me on Steam as Purple Frog eventually, but right now it's still my other name. Um, but I, I, you know, I had a lot of fun with it this week. I thought we did some really good things. There's a couple of deaths. I mean, you know, spoiler alert, but you've, you've already seen some if you've watched by this point. So, so there you go. And of course, the Friday update will continue to be on Friday. Bob's Mods RSO. We are building a lot of stuff, but there's a lot more to go. So we're gonna, you know, take a look at that. I think this week I've had some really good suggestions from some viewers uh, that I really do appreciate. So continue to comment on that, that stuff and, and that will be uh, good. We'll grow together and we'll do some things. And some of the things I'm going to say, look, I'm, I'm not going to do it for various reasons. Um, one of them, like, uh, there are efficiencies that I'll take and others that I won't. Why? Because I'm human and I'm crazy. So that's basically it. But, uh, you know, keep commenting. I appreciate it. And the, the back and forth is, is what I'm, I'm here for. Crusader Kings 2, we're still trying to take over the world. Spoiler alert. Okay, was that enough time? Um, it's going well. <laughs> so I, I think it's just going to continue along. We're, we're knee deep in the Indian invasion at this point, and we're just going to keep seeing how that goes and, and try and, and take over the whole world. And then the biggest piece of exciting news is that I have new internet, and so on Tuesday there was a live stream. If you weren't around to catch it, you know, I apologize, it wasn't really announced in advance, it was just kind of like 20 minutes beforehand, I said, hey, you know what, I've got new internet, I'm going to try and stream, we'll see what happens, and about like an hour later is when I when I finally started. So it started at 9 o'clock Eastern time, not at 8, so actually I suppose I should be more accurate here. So it started at 9 o'clock Eastern time, not at 8. And I only played for two hours, and it was all GeoGuessr, because basically I didn't want to stress it. I wanted to see how good it could be. So during that two hours, it never dropped below 3,400 kilobytes a second. What that means is that 3,400 kilobytes a second, you could stream 1080p. I didn't do it because I didn't want to risk it. I just played, streamed 720. Um, the problem, of course, is that the easiest way to stream is with OBS. And so with OBS, there's a warble in the sound. It's not going away. Just anytime you open OBS... There will be warble. I don't know why. And I just kind of keep hoping it'll be fixed and that uh, an update will fix it. And it's not happening. People watching the stream said for the most part, it wasn't a problem. Actually, most of the problem was popping in my microphone. So I need to work on um, the levels for the stream. I might have to bring the gain down a little bit to make that happen. 
regardless, it, it, I think it went well. It was it was a good time. I'm gonna to, could try and start streaming again because it's instant interaction, right? That's that that's the other thing. Um, Jeff, who is in Southern Ontario, reported nearly zero lag time. The Europeans um, and also um, intercountry here, who is in Mexico, and some of the Australians were reporting lag, but that's to be expected because you're across the world. Um, but people in essentially my backyard, because Southern Ontario, I could fly there in an hour. It's basically good that it wasn't there wasn't a delay. And so I'm going to use OBS because I don't have to worry about trying to put feedback loops into Simple Screen Recorder in order to get the audio to be properly in both channels because it is a mono source and like Audacity figures out that it's a mono source with no problem. But because it is a, a stereo, essentially, it's a two channel uh, USB audio interface, a lot of things get confused and SSR is one of those things. And frankly, uh, OBS gets confused about it too. So yeah, there's a tick box built into OBS to automatically mix it into a stereo mix. That doesn't exist on SSR, so um, you just have to be aware of it, I guess. But you, you have to null feedback loop it, and that's just a pain in the ass. I'll flat out say it, so uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm still going to record with SSR. I think SSR, one, there's no warble in the sound. But then two, it's just easier. I mean, it's simple. It's a simple screen recorder. I play, I've got three monitors. On the left-hand side, like right now, I can see my playlist of what's playing. So right now it's The Hunt by Andreas Valdetoft. I think that's in the, the New World um, DLC from EU4. And my simple screen recorder is going. So I can see that it's been 11 minutes and 48 seconds. My FPS in and out is 30 because I'm limiting it to 30. I could do higher, actually, but 30 seems fine. You know, size in and out, 10, 1920 by 1080. And, you know, all that other stuff that there we go. And there's a log in case things start to happen. Like I've seen buffer runs and things like that, that, that you can just be aware of. On my right hand monitor, I've got Audacity. That's all that's running. It's just Audacity. So to make sure that the waveform is working. Then in the center screen, that's what I do on my playing. Because it's a, it's a, a 1920 by 1080 screen, high def. Um, you know, it's not a 4K. I don't need 4K. It's a 1080p high def screen. And I just play it full screen. And that's that. It's brilliant. You know, it's, it works great for me. So with I, I don't need OBS to record a video, but to stream, especially with the transitions, with the cards and everything, and the, the title cards, I mean, and being able to transition from scene to scene, that to me is important. And I think it's worth a little bit of warble in the sound and hopefully that it'll work itself out. I mean, the, the Linux version of it is still a beta. So we're basically part of testing it continually and that's just how it goes. But the internet itself is fantastic. I was able to upload um, or to stream with no problem. I did not test if my wife would be able to still watch Netflix or anything like that, but theoretically it should be possible. Uh, we have a, a fancy new cable modem, which um, can handle speeds up to 760 something megabytes a second. Obviously our service is only at 50, so it's not really there. And then I've got a fancy new router, which has gigabit um, connection between that router and the modem. And uh, this computer that I'm on right now is hardwired into it finally. So I was using this like through the wall electrical stuff, which is, it was just shaky, shady as hell. Um, so now I'm not, I'm actually going straight into the source. So that's a lot faster on this computer. And the streaming stuff downstairs is a little bit slower just because it's now on the wireless that's through a wall and a ceiling. So, you know, it's not ideal. But it, it works fine. I suppose I could think about buying a, a, a repeater to, to kind of strengthen the signal for downstairs. But for the most part, it's honestly not not a big deal. It was only I've noticed it when we try and surf the internet and watch Netflix at the same time. That's where it, it sort of becomes a problem. But other than that, it's okay. I mean, it's most of the time I'm not getting 50 megabits. Um, during the day, like at 9 in the morning when I do recording on Saturdays and Sundays when nobody's at home, like anywhere, I can I can get 60 megabytes down. It's awesome. Um, and then the upload speeds are generally unaffected because most people aren't uploading like uh, like I would be on that. So the stream worked out great. I'm, we're going to do it again next week. So um, let's talk next week. Boom. I've Actually, I've done that one too. Uh, definitely live stream. Live stream 25. Actually, live stream 26. Nope, live stream 25. Is it going to be there? So a couple of changes to, to the next week. Nothing big, nothing big. I did record all of CK2. So this is a serious spoiler alert. If you don't want to know what's happening in CK2, uh, skip ahead like three minutes. 
Okay, those of you still here, um, CK2 is, uh, it's over um, for now because I was going to play through until I was, I had conquered the world and I thought it was going to be like four episodes and I could start playing EU4 and it took seven. So it took all seven videos, three of them were longer than normal, so they're like 24, 25 minutes. But I have conquered the world with two exceptions, the Order of um, St. Anthony and the Teutonic Order. For some reason I cannot get them, they won't vassalize, and when I try and attack, actually I could probably attack the Order of St. Anthony again, but for now I'm going to leave it. Uh, but I can't attack the Order, um, the Teutonic Order except to make them a tributary, I can't take over their land. I don't know why. So that's just... That's the way it is, I guess. If you know a, a way to do that, that's great. No achievements have popped up at all. Um, so I just, I don't know. I mean, this whole thing might have been for not. It was a great grand conquest, but my whole point was the achievement run. So now the only thing left is to just play it through to 1453. And I think that's going to be pretty boring on screen. So uh, what I'll do is maybe record an hour, uh, an hour's worth of videos, release it once a week as just one compressed chunk, so not an hour long, but rather a 20 minute video that has an hour's worth of content, or maybe I'll do that two times a week. I don't know, it depends on what kind of time I have to record, right? Because essentially, if I did all seven, I'm adding seven, well, I'm adding two and a half new series based on length run time, right? Plus I have to record the audio over that. So if, I mean, if you don't want the audio commentary, then I could just keep going, but I don't know. So it is over. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a great time playing it, and, and I will continue it through to 1453. It's just I'm not going to do it every day. So starting next week, we're going to mix in some EU4, and I think City Skylines will be the two games that we'll play in the Paradox Hour, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do in essentially the Potpourri Hour. Okay, welcome back, all of you who skipped because of the Crusader Kings 2. Um, you don't know what happened because you successfully skipped over it. Let's talk about the future. Monday. GeoGuessr, right? GeoGuessr every day. We're going to keep doing that. Like I said, we're probably going to play the weekly challenge from the subreddit, um, probably the state challenge and the um, uh, Strangelands challenge. There's two of them. And I'm probably going to try and, and partake in both. So we're going to record both of those. So will take the place of 15-minute world challenges. So uh, my channel is growing in length. So hopefully that's good for you guys and you'll enjoy it. And then there'll be one left 15-minute world challenge. And then what will happen is if for some reason I don't get enough user submitted challenges for the week, then those strange lands and state lands challenges will take the place of that. But for now, uh, the the idea is that it will be um, supplementary, really. It's not going to replace any user challenges because that's the most important part to me because I like what you guys are sending in. I find it to be very interesting. So we'll go up to the 87th episode of GeoGuessr, which is actually going to be the 400th episode, I think. Let's find out. Geo guesser boom. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We, we hit three. Uh, three thirty one will be the final episode. It's Factorio that that's in four sixty nine will be the final episode of Factorio this week. That's a lot of Factorio. Spoiler alert. Sorry if you if you read what happened there. Oops. So uh, Geo guesser will continue along as it is. Uh, you'll notice City Skylines is back on. I tried playing it again for the first time since I upgraded my computer, and it's smooth. I mean, smooth, looks good, feels good, doesn't lag. So I'm gonna play it again. Um, I haven't tried recording it. So if it somehow, if SSR causes it to lag, which it shouldn't because SSR has almost no footprint, then we won't play it. But if it works out fine, then we're gonna play City Skylines. And I think we're just gonna play a city. I'm not gonna have any goal. We're just gonna play, have some fun, build some stuff. Um, the day night cycle is in, there's weather now, so we're going to take advantage of all of that and just kind of play around with it and, and do what we want to do. We, and um, the European town theme is free now. So we're going to build like a European town. We're going to drive on the left. We're going to pretend we're in England. It's going to be fun. Then we're just going to call it Pondville. P-O-N-D-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Just something very simple, very straightforward. And just uh, it's going to be kind of like that uh, relaxing, just zen-like city builder. So we'll play three of those a week. And we'll play three Binding of Isaac Afterbirth a week. And then, you know, continue that along. Like I said, we're not going to do the, the daily challenges probably on the channel, but I'm still going to do them. If you want to see them, like, I can record 
as I do it, I just, I don't know if I want to, because I feel guilty when I play and don't record for the channel, but I think I record, I just don't know if I want to comment on it because my voice can only, only take so much. And essentially if I do that, I'm creating a whole nother series. That's a really long series. So I don't know if we're going to do that or not. Bob's Mod will continue along as it is. We're going to start expanding out into other fields and just build the rail network so we can have everything coming into the main base and we might start processing some things outside too i don't know we'll find out we'll just keep playing until we get tired of it ck2 i've already talked about and then we're gonna live stream on tuesday and it will be at eight o'clock so it will be the normal time this week not delayed uh, an hour because that was basically testing so the testing is all done we're going to go with the solution that i i've gone with and uh, just deal with the warble whatever little bit there is and we're going to stream uh, still on YouTube, although I am seriously considering stream sw switching to Twitch um, for that live stream. We'll find out. I think I'm going to try and do maybe a test live stream on Twitch on Sunday morning if I can get enough stuff recorded. I mean, I already have one whole thing recorded for the week, so that helps. Um, we'll just go from there. God, I've said I'm a lot today. It's because I'm dry. I ran out of liquid in CK2210. And I just haven't refreshed, and I'm gonna kind of getting sick, I think, which is sort of annoying. But you know what are you gonna do? I'm gonna press on. That's what you're gonna do. I believe we're gonna hit 1,500 videos next week. Like not this schedule, but the next schedule that comes out, I think, is gonna have 1,500 videos on it. So um, I'll know for sure. We'll do some sort of special event for 1,500 videos. And, and go from there because it's I, I have to remember the live streams count as as one of the videos because there's a VOD Which is kind of cool. So we're gonna hit 1500 videos here relatively quickly Which is pretty impressive when you consider that it has not even been a year yet Multiplayer is still in the works. We're talking about don't start together I think we're gonna play on Saturday like for real Saturday morning. So we'll have some time to do that and then um, I think maybe some secret Hitler because I'm having uh, having a blast watching it. We're starting to play it in person now, and I think it would translate real well. I mean, just look at Mathis and, and Total Biscuit and all of them that uh, that that did it, and I it think it's it's a great format. So um, that that's certainly a possibility. We might get those guys that played Battlestar back in to play some Secret Hitler, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll see. I talked a lot. It's 20 some odd minutes, so that's probably plenty. Insert country here. I know you're still here at the end. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. And everybody else, thank you too. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and click the like button. I'm, I'm sort of um, being okay with liking status updates now because I think that's what people actually do because I, I've realized I've liked every one of Arumbas that he's ever posted. So so please do consider like uh, that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel though if you haven't already because that keeps you updated to everything as it happens and uh, helps spread the love of the pond around to everybody else. So until next time, cheers.